What's up, YouTube? It's your girl Cherish here back with another video. So today, y'all, I'm gonna be doing a online school hacks or how to pass online school because this year I actually learned a lot of stuff, even though I did not like it at all. I learned a lot of do's and don'ts when it comes to online school, and I'm gonna share it with you guys today. So as always, I got the handy dandy notebook. You already know. It has all my tips in there and I'm going to be sharing it with you guys because this year we're getting all A's. We don't got time for no C's, no D's, no F's, nothing. A's and B's all year. Also, thank y'all so much for 500 subscribers. I reached it last night. I was about to go to bed and then I checked my YouTube channel real quick and it said 500. I was like, oh, thank you so thank y'all so much for that i really appreciate it but let's get straight into the video okay so the first tip is to have a designated place where you do your work don't just pop out of bed and get on the computer if you have like a big room you could get you know those folding trays just put it next to your bed or you can get an actual desk or if you have one already that's even better or you can go in your living room just don't pop out of bed and then just start doing your work you want to get out of bed get ready for the day and then start your work because if you just get out of bed with your pajamas on in your bed doing your work you're gonna feel lazy and unmotivated but if you get up you have a little bit of energy for the day next is to pay attention i know it's hard especially on zoom because your phone is literally right next to you and you have a computer you could just use your phone easily but i'm telling you y'all should actually pay attention because um when you do your work like your homework and stuff it's going to be way easier because you paid attention in class and you don't have to put so much time and effort into school because you already paid attention and you know everything so yeah another thing is you guys should actually go to bed at a decent time like just because you're not physically going to school you should still go to bed at a decent time because um so you can focus because if your brain doesn't get enough sleep i guess something then you can't focus as well so make sure you guys get the right amount of sleep i get like eight hours i try to get eight hours lately i have been getting like five or maybe even like six i don't know but i haven't been getting eight hours so i gotta work on that before school starts up but fix your sleep schedules yeah because i know we all be going to bed at 7 a.m 6 a.m three o'clock in the morning fix those sleep schedules please I'm working on mine, you better be working on yours too. Next is get rid of distractions. So for me, my biggest distraction is my phone. So what I do is when I wake up in the morning, I don't even look at my phone at all. I just start my day, get through at least half of the day without my phone, and then I go on my phone and check on my messages. I also put my phone on do not disturb throughout the whole day so that I don't get any notifications. Because if I don't get any notifications, then I'm not gonna be eager to turn on my phone. But if I get like a snap notification or Instagram notification, then I'm gonna be curious to see what's going on. You can also put a time limit on your phone so that you won't be able to get in your apps. But I don't do that, no. I just rather have self-control and not go on my phone. It's not that hard, I promise. It seems hard, but it's not. You could do it. If I could do it, you could do it. Because I spent like 12 hours on my phone every day. So if I could do it, you could do it. Next is schedule days that you want to study or work on homework for each class. Do not do all your classes in one day because that is very overwhelming and I do not suggest it. Um, to make this whole online experience easiest for you, just stay on top of your organi organization game and you should be good i like used to work on like two classes each day last year and it made it easier rather than doing all of them in one day because that was really stressful and really hard and it took up a lot of my day so i work on like two classes each day 
and by the end of the week i have all my stuff done but i just work on it gradually so i know there's like no motivation to get up to start your day to do nothing because you're like i'm just standing out all day doing school i have nothing to do there's no motivation like when we had actual school we could we could see our friends and all that stuff it was exciting now it's nothing to look forward to so you guys could download some motivational apps i'll put some on the screen that you guys should check out and it basically just gives you a positive way to start your day rather than starting your day like all gloomy or upset or with a negative mindset so y'all can go check out those apps that i'm gonna put on the screen even though we are not going heavy back to school shopping because it's online you still need to go back to school shopping you still need to get some notebooks you still need to get some folders so you can stay organized don't just do all your work on the computer still use a notebook still use a pencil still use a pen don't just do everything on the computer because that's what i did last year and it was a mess i don't know how i got through that year and it was a hot mess but i definitely recommend having a notebook you don't need to have like multiple notebooks you could just have one notebook that has like 100 pages like this and you'll be fine because you don't really have to write down anything you don't have to write down notes at least i don't because it's dumb why i gotta write down notes it's right in front of my face and you don't really gotta do nothing except for when it comes to math you gotta obviously like write down your work and stuff but besides that you barely gotta write anything so one notebook and one folder should be good also you guys can make study group chats i don't recommend making study group chats with your best friends because y'all let's be real y'all are not gonna get no work done y'all gonna be talking y'all gonna be gossiping y'all gonna be off track so you can make study group chats with people in your class if there's like not a lot of friends in that class make friends make study group chats so you guys just so you guys can study because i do plan on studying even though i know a lot of people are just gonna cheat their way through online school that's what i did last year not even gonna lie but this year i'm gonna actually try to study but i'm i'm gonna just give it a shot and if i don't like it then i'm gonna just take the easy way out but i'm gonna still try to study I'm not gonna lie, I'm keeping it real with y'all. You guys have to communicate with your teachers. Don't feel like you're bothering them in any way or nothing. Like you have to, you have to communicate with them. It's a must, only because they're new to this too. They do not know what they're doing. Conf confusion can get mixed up very easily. So to avoid that, communicate with them. You're not bothering them. They're literally getting paid to answer your questions. Make sure that you guys download your apps for school on your phone so that you can get alerts rather than computer on my computer i don't get any alerts on my phone i get alerts so i could answer faster i can see what assignments i have to do without having to get up and log in on my computer because that's annoying so make sure you guys are downloading your school's apps on your phone and stuff because it really really helps because i hate logging into computers because it's so much work just to get in so you could just use your face id real quick you know and check all your assignments that you have to do or all your assignments that you have to finish or whatever reply to teachers whatever so download your school's apps or educational apps on your phone so you can get alerts like google classroom um what else what's other apps oh google docs all that stuff all that google stuff yeah so that's all my tips if you guys want a part two to this video then let me know um yes i'm not really looking forward to starting school because um i just i just not like i moved on with my life school no i moved on like for real but yeah so comment down below what grade y'all going to i'm going to eighth grade um it's in my bio y'all be asking me questions about myself and everything is in my bio which i don't be checking but make sure you check my bio if you have anything if you're wondering about anything about me it's most likely in my bio. So yeah, once again, thank you guys so much for 500 subscribers. I really appreciate y'all. So, 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 so much. And I'm gonna go because it's really early. I woke up so early today and I'm gonna just chill on TikTok and stuff because I have nothing to do. It's about to rain. I can't go nowhere. So yeah. Bye y'all. I'm gonna see y'all on Sunday. Bye.